Hey, hello and welcome. Come on in. Come on in. Grab your coffee. Um, get your orange juice. Depending on what side of the uh, the world you are on, maybe you might be getting, it could be five o'clock for you. Grab your martini. Come on in. I'm getting ready to do a reading for the day's energy so you can get an idea of what's going on out there. Um, we are in some trying times right now. Very heavy energy. Where you are still in that um, Venus retrograde. Venus is a planet of love. It is a planet of um, collaboration. It is also a uh, it also affects um, business partners. Couldn't think of it. Couldn't think of it. Yeah, it's it's one of the, it's been that kind of week for everybody. We also have a Mercury retrograde going on. Yeah, it has been a real shitstorm for some of you, and I'm telling you, uh, it is not a shitstorm. It's a fertilizer blessing. Spring's coming. Flowers are going to bloom. Things are going to get better. They always do, right? Right. All right, I do have the paranormal flashlight set up behind me back there on the shelf. It may come on or off throughout the reading. Um, you just never know. Sometimes spirit just has more important things to do. All right, I think I got enough to get started with here. Let me see. Two, four, six. One more, please, spirit. There it is. <clears throat> All right, just a reading for the day's energy. Let you know how to um, <laughs> how to duck and dive, how to tuck and roll, man. Whatever it takes, right? You know what? As heavy as the energy is, don't let it get to you. Yeah, take a minute. Go, go get. Uh, find a quiet place. Get be. Where you can be alone and connect with your source and let it go. Don't let it bother you. Um, we always get through this and we will get through this again. Alrighty, let's see what's happening here. Whoops, whoops, hang on. Um, I'll get a couple more here. I'll pull some oracle cards to see what the overall energy is. Ha <laughs> ha, love that, love that. Alright, first off, the number 20 card. Imagine limitless. Absolutely, look at the limitless when I come on this side of the screen today. All right, where do I? You know what? I don't have my spot, do I? Well, let's. Um, we're gonna we're gonna go here. We'll go this way. Here we go. All right. Yeah, this says imagine it. Imagine, and it literally makes you feel like there is limitless possibilities because there is no no uh, no roadblocks uh, nothing gonna hold you back here and regeneration this is a Scorpio card this would be the same as the um, devil card uh, no actually it would be the same as the death card I'm sorry the death card and that's what regeneration is. It's a transformation. Some There's a change coming for you guys. And um, from what I see from the rest of the cards, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Some of you are in the hangman position. Here we are. And he comes up inverted. So you're kind of done here. You've done your time. <laughs> You've uh, you paid your... Uh, dues to society and are ready to move forward uh you have gained some enlightenment you've you know what you've really been thinking um pondering and sorting through some of the issues that have really been on your mind and it's going to pay off in the long run because you've become enlightened that's that glow around his head we have these seven of swords that comes up um, yeah, you had been worrying about an issue. Something here that's maybe connected to finance, perhaps. We'll dig a little deeper. Um, but yeah, you've kind of been up in your head with this Seven of Swords. You know, you didn't know whether you wanted to duck and run, um, take your losses for what they were, move on to higher ground, so to speak. But this is also a new beginning. Yep. Taking what you've got, what you have learned, what you have gained through that enlightenment, and moving forward for that new start. It's okay to leave some old 
thinking behind. Time to leave some old thinking behind. Change your ways if you're going to move forward. Trust me. Old girl's telling you, get with the times here. Uh, we also have the Knight of Swords. It's okay to let that go because you're getting ready to step back into your truth. You're getting ready to say, hey, this is me. I'm standing up for what I believe, for what I want, and a direction I want to take my life. You may be up against some opposition about these changes you're getting ready to kind of step into, okay? That's all right. Let them. A little bit of opposition. Uh, let them. Don't worry about it. You move forward with your truth. We have the Queen of Pentacles here, and she's upside down. Um, yeah, she's in the inverted position. You've been holding your own abundance back here. Queen's got a little bit of um, ka-ching. Ka-ching. She's got some bread, man. Look at that. That's a big old uh, coin on her lap there. And it's what you have been trying to bring forward. It's been what you've been trying to manifest. You've kind of been holding it back because you had some of those old ways of thinking here, right? Yeah, I can't do that. I can't do that. You know what? I don't have that experience. I'm too old. I can't do that. <laughs> Let that shit go. Let that shit go. <clears throat> we have the three of wands and you know what you've been working really hard um towards this new you you have been striving very hard um you have put the prayers out there you're waiting now kind of circling the field and holding pattern waiting for um you know the tower to give you clearance to land <clears throat> but you are watching to see where those opportunities are going to come from. We have the two pinnacles. And he came up in reverse. All about something being out of balance for you. And that's why you're trying to reclaim your life and move forward. Um, somebody else's thinking is dragging you down too. Two used, can usually mean two people. This could be old ways of thinking about finance. Trust me, if you're trying to build abundance and manifest some financial abundance, I'm going to tell you, we have to let go of our mother and dad's ways of thinking of things. Antiquated. Um, let those old thought patterns go. You're not going to gain abundance that way. We've got the Page of Pentacles, and he's come and say, yep, yep. Change is going to come, and it's going to involve the abundance that you're wanting. You're going to have something substantial come around. Keep those positive thought patterns going, because if you're wanting to manifest something, you cannot think in terms of lack. If you're trying to manifest money, you cannot think about I have bills to pay and I don't know how I'm going to get the bills paid. Um, I'm worried about paying the insurance and how's, how, you know what, I can't, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Um, how am I going to get the bills? As long as you keep thinking that way, the universe, God, source, whatever your, your terminology is, will give you more of what you're thinking of. So if you're thinking in terms of lack, I don't have, I, I don't have I don't have I can't get because I don't have I can't have because I don't get you know it, it, it's a vicious cycle don't get don't get in there you've got to let that go you've got to know something always comes through in the nick of time something always comes through in the nick of time and that's what that sun card is it's all about that um, warmth, that change, that growth. It is about <clears throat> the, abund the abundance that's coming. You cannot have any kind of abundance without that sun to bring it out. All right, grabbing a different deck today for validating. <clears throat> this is the Mystic Mondays deck. Um, it's still based on the Rider Weight Tarot, a little more simple, not as much detail. You really have to, oh, hello there. You really have to pick and choose, not pick and choose, I'm sorry, uh, pick through 
your intuition to feel what the card is representing. For some of you that are learning how to read tarot, don't worry about if you think your intuition isn't as good as mine. Go with your gut. When you're pulling these cards for yourself, just go with your gut. All right, I need a couple more, please, Spirit. That one just came out on its own, fell out, tail end there. All right, one more. And can I get a jumper, please? All right, spirit. There we go. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love it. All right, we have nine of wands that came up. And it, came, it did come up in reverse. Um, but this is about being ready for what's coming. Okay. You've already fought the fight. You've already won the battle. Um, now you're just kind of hanging in there, finishing up the chapter of the book before you turn the page. This is what the nine is all about. And then we roll up on a ten after that. Ten of swords. Yeah, you know what? It may have felt like somebody betrayed you. And you know, it's crazy because the ten of swords just happened to be laying here on, a, on another deck too. Uh, that happens to be on the table. Laying face up. Um, but this is about completing that cycle. Be glad it's done. Let's get it the hell out of the way. Don't have to cope with this kind of negativity anymore. We have the four wands. This is about a celebration and a happily ever after. It is about having more structure in your life. It is about having something more solid to build from. And it's about thinking outside the box. You've got to think outside the box because you've got opportunities coming all over the place. You know what? New frame of mind. Um, once you open your mind up to having a positive flow and not thinking about the negative, um, don't dwell on he said, she said, um, the neighbor did, um, you, I heard, um, you let that crap go. Once you let it go, you will see the opportunities. Absolutely. All right, there you have it. A little lengthy today just for a daily message, but I hope that resonated with somebody. And if it did, hit that like, subscribe, and share buttons. And if you guys know me, you know that I never leave you, that I don't bless you with love and light. Thank you, guys. See you soon.